Dorothy. Dorothy came into the collection as a gift from a concerned lady in 2001. She had apparently inherited the doll from an aunt with whom she was forced to spend the long summer holidays with as a child. Her aunt lived in rural North Norfolk and had been given the doll by her grandmother. The aunt had run the family farm single-handedly since her husband had died in 1943. He sadly died attempting to rescue their daughter and her four friends from a burning barn. He pulled the girls from the fire, but they were already dead. He died of smoke inhalation two days later. When the daughter's body was examined, Dorothy was found tightly wrapped in the girl's apron and clasped protectively to her body. She still bears the marks of that fire. Since the funeral, she's been kept in the case you see in front of you. The lady who donated Dorothy explained that she could no longer live with the doll in her house. She reported a faint smell of hay and smoke, which would fade as soon as it was noticed. Her two young daughters would not remain in the same room as Dorothy and were convinced that she turns her head up to look at us when we play. Whether this is all true or the fanciful imagination of two young girls trying to frighten each other, we're happy to be custodians of Dorothy. She's a doll who owes her continued existence to the love of a child who knew that whilst she could not be saved, she could save her beloved companion. <laughs>